yeah, I think this deck might actually be kind of crazy. Almost as crazy, in fact, as my hair is going to be in this video. Listen, I was taking care of the baby. Just decided to roll with it. Didn't have time to fix my hair. So you're going to get to enjoy it. Regis's hair in its natural state in this video. But I feel like this deck is anything but natural. I decided to build a deck that was just all about destroying my opponent's stuff. Spider-Man 2099 came along, all about destroy effects. We've got all these other cards that destroy your opponent's cards. Gambit, Killmonger, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, a card I barely ever play. Of course, we've got Shang-Chi. Even Galactus in here, of course, can destroy my opponent's cards. Yondu, Elektra. Cards you don't typically always run together. Normally when we think of destroy stuff, we have like a tech card or two, like a Shang-Chi, or it's about destroying your own cards more so. Whereas with this one, it's about destroying their stuff. You've still got Null and Death in here as payoffs, and Thanos as this kind of linchpin that pulls all of this together. Because number one, you have the Move Stone as an extra enabler for your Spider-Man 2099, which is nice. And then, of course, you have the Ramp Stone, which can uh, get you to Galactus into Null Curves, which is otherwise impossible in this deck. And then just other stones to fill in your curve and make sure you're playing out a smooth, consistent game plan. And by God, did it work insanely well. Not only a great win rate, but huge cube gains because nobody knows what to do with this. They're not expecting like gambits to be the perfect removal card randomly out of nowhere. They're probably sometimes expecting the null, but they just can't do anything about it. The zero cost death can be spicy and Electra can remove really key targets like a Kitty Pride or Nebula. So this deck just found so many different ways to win as you're gonna see. Now I didn't get to play an endless number of games. I have a really short clock these days to actually get to play, but through my first 13 games, 85% win rate, and uh, I think like plus 20 something cubes as well. So crazy start for this one. I'm curious if anybody else out there plays this if they find as much success with this as I did. But either way, really fun deck showcasing Spider-Man 2099 and all of his uh, destroy brothers and sisters here completely murdering opponents stuff. Ah, the opponent snapped me with Murder World. Let's go. I like when things get destroyed. I don't care. Let's go. I'm all in, let's put some power there. We could also transform it if we wanted. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, let's hedge a little bit here. Space Stone, Spider-Man 29, that's definitely good. Oh, the opponent snapped. I don't know if I started recording by then, but they already snapped. <laughs> Just to clarify. Black Widow. Okay, glad that resolved first, but thankfully we can replace our hand pretty well and we can just dump that in Murder World too, so. Ooh, that could be a good actually could be a nutty destroy target yeah so next turn i'm gonna get plus one energy this isn't really the time you want to play time stone to be honest because we could cheat out a six a turn early um i also don't really want to play space stone yet either though because of uh 2099 maybe we do have to do this and then next turn we play uh space stone and 2099 together for five so it makes the ramp worth it, I guess. Sewer system, that's okay. Oh, hey, that could be another reason to save the space stone. All right. Electro's funny, that's fine. Electro and Black Widow together. Dude, I my hair, I'm so not used to this. I don't know if I've ever recorded a video with my hair in its natural state. It's pretty amazing. I ain't saying that. Oh, oh, I heard this is bugged, right? Yeah, yeah, it's only showing four, but it's it's because it's bugged. So Space Stone, I gotta <laughs> remind myself how this works. Can move a card to this location, okay. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely gonna show the opponent what we're up to, so that might encourage them to play small stuff there. But we can actually clear out space with Killmonger anyway, or maybe pivot with Ghost Spider. So we might be able to surprise them. Ooh, death is cheap, we love that. Oh, we're gonna surprise them. Do we have, uh... We have priority we do thanks to the soul stone and it's a tie yeah okay so we're gonna surprise them instead they think we're going right we're not going right yeah negasonic mid i do want to put more power right with like a death or a maybe just a null i guess so negasonic mid could help protect mid a little bit yeah yeah oh did i play these in the right order oh god i don't remember oh god i don't know oh i did okay 
<laughs> I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. That's a sick 29 though. That's perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Your poor heart of Zola, dude. Um gosh, I mean I don't is this actually the right play now that I'm looking at it? Why don't I just null mid? It's way bigger. I mean I think this wins too for the record, so but but I don't know. This is a pretty exciting thing to pass up, right? Uh we don't want to kill Monger, do we? That loses our soul stone, which is Potentially a, a big advantage mid if they were to play multiple things, but surely death is big enough, right? And then we're having the other two spots. What could they possibly have here? That's that's scary. That was really nifty. Uh, I think they just I think they threw their phone on the ground. <laughs> I think they they took the full turn, dude. I love that this deck is tilting people that hard. That's awesome. That's really fun. All right, mind stone is beautiful on one. Pretty much our best play, I think. Just really. Gives us good or early game curve, gives us options, gives us more draw, more cycle. Yeah, let's wipe out big house. That could actually be a pretty big downside for us. These together might be worth saving. This is good with null, but if I'm doing this stuff anyway, maybe we cycle this. Next turn I go to four. I guess you could still just play a spider ant man and then space stone later, and that's totally fine. Save a lane maybe for Galactus right. Oh, kiln, okay. So that would actually be a pretty cool way to play towards kiln without playing towards kiln. Oh, we've also got ghost spider, which makes life a little easier too, maybe. This is a problem though on kiln, like we don't actually want that there. Galactus looks like he's not happening either with the expansion. That's gonna be too hard. Yeah, I don't know, man, Wolverine's a pain. I mean, it can shift the power away from kiln to help us win kiln still, but it's kind of a pain. That's two more targets though. Oh, no longer kiln. Okay. This is kind of a crazy mirror match. Oh, Bucky Barnes is annoying too, though, man. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, dude. That's actually so sick. What the heck? Uh, okay. Maybe we just rip the Killmonger here? I, I will have to rely on Space Stone in that case if I want to play towards Spider Man 2099. But maybe, uh. Maybe actually, maybe just Space Stone Killmonger is the play here. This lets me move Spider-Man 29 left, which looks like it'll be a much better target. It does mean I'm kind of calling my turn. This is my last chance to do it. Uh, and the opponent will know that, but, they, they, but I think they're going to play something there this turn, right? So I'm hoping there's a better target because this is just not good stuff to destroy. So hoping something big comes here this turn because they don't want to play right because they think right lost. So they're not going to play right in which case. Maybe there's a good target isolated left or decent target anyway. We'll see. Might, might still suck. Oh, well, Wolverine's not great. Our stone's a little maybe technically better. Uh, It's a 50-50, man. I don't know. D dude, we're going to farm up this Wolverine if we're not careful. We, <laughs> we need to be careful. Let's do something like this and then maybe play for null left. Maybe Yondu goes mid in that game. Well, we're gonna get a card here. Which means the opponent may not need to play anything. Yeah, actually I think Null's better going going uh mid in this case. So let's put Negasonic left. Let's for sure get our order right though. Oh bro, my null is freaking huge though. Seriously though. Okay, Soul Stone's another decent target. Just don't hit Wolverine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Dude, my null is so big. The problem is I'm not really winning other spots. Like, I think they're going to be able to flip. Oh, no, they can't flip left. I have Negasonic, dude. Oh, I ripped the null mid. Oh, my God, that's insane. So now, like, Thanos' right is probably fine. Dude, this null, dude, let's go. I wonder if the opponent has a null or not. Yeah, I mean, this is enough to flip this that they have to at least think about it. Um, left, Negasonic protects. Right there, or maybe they already played Chong Chi, so I doubt they have a, a Enchantress. Uh, but if they do, hopefully this is fine. Oh, their own null, bro, that's so sick, dude. We're playing very similar decks. There's just like more uh, uh, offensive destroy. Mine is more defensive destroy. But very similar Thanos null list. That's kind of cool. Mine's all about destroying opponent's stuff. Theirs is all about destroying their own stuff.
but we got the best of it this time. Arnold was free, giving me another big play, which is nice. And the infinite really helped eat their removal. Okay, yeah, we'll hold. Not the best opener, really. It is a hand where I don't mind playing Gambit, but it looks like the opponent uh, has some bad targets for Gambit too. It's a decent uh, Electra target though, so maybe we just dump it. Not a good one, there's better. I do need to spend energy to some extent though. I can't just not play cards. That's helpful, we get a Killmonger to wipe some of this stuff out. Like, yes, even Power Stone, we don't, we, we'll wipe if we have to. Daily Bugle, save me, give me a play, man. Give me a Mind Stone or something, well, not Mind Stone. Soul Stone will take it, that's beautiful, okay. Great news, literally all I have. Null. Oh man, this Shang Chi on that Lockjaw, that could be real spicy. Although, I guess we just wipe the Lockjaw, don't we? Snap. Why not, man? Let's do it. That means left might just be like secured too, because they just don't have a lot of small cards to play there in this kind of deck. Lockjaw has mostly expensive stuff. So, oh no, they've got Thanos cards though. That's not true. Oh, we did lose the death, sadly. Okay, dude, this is single-handedly negated my entire game plan. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Yeah, dang it. Uh, okay, well, this fell apart faster than I wanted. I really need that Killmonger, bro. Killmonger me. Ah, uh, crap. What well, it is revealing first, but the odds of a Shang-Chi connecting here are just basically nil. I like better off playing Spider-Man 299 and then... If, if somehow magically I'm winning this spot, oh boy, I don't know though, man. What am I really playing here? I think this is a turn six Galactus and pray, man. I got nothing. Sword Master. Okay. Well. Ghost Spider. Killmonger? Oh, actually, Killmonger here also just plays for a tie. Wait, that wipes out everything. Oh my god. Yes, dude. Yes. Hold up. This might actually just be amazing. I have to play the Ghost Spider first, otherwise she'll pull Killmonger, but I want to pull the 99 right to kill whatever big thing they play here. Oh my god, bro, bro, bro. I'm a genius. Bro, I'm a genius. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Everything destroyed. Gambit wins left. I win right. This is beautiful. <laughs> what a ridiculous way to win a game. That's crazy, actually. That's crazy. Okay, Mind Stone. We love starting with Mind Stone. All right, so high Evo Cyclops stuff. I see, I see. Galactus is pretty if. Okay, interesting. Suddenly drawing cards just got... Oh, the opponent is not into it. They, they say, listen, if I can't play my high Evo deck... I won't play at all. <laughs> no, thank you here. Yeah. No, thank you. All right, Mindstone early we love. Galactus, not a likely uh, hit in this deck, of course, but you gotta have him, right? It's <laughs> He destroys your opponent's stuff. That's the game plan, okay? You gotta have him. Okay, this gives me a big advantage here. Reality Stone might want to go there too, but I, I don't know. I'm so ahead now on that. <sighs> Eating that Nebula so easily. Oh, Koye. Whoa. Okay. I feel like I saw this deck once before on a video, but I don't remember what the deal was. Uh, Killmonger does challenge that a little, my Quantum Realm advantage a little bit. Uh, but might still be worth it because death is just such a powerful card. It does mean that Quantum Realm is kind of harder for me to win. I don't have anything except Null. It's really good there. Like, ongoing cards are great, but... I really do want that death, probably. This could happen on, uh... Four. Let's play the Galactus early. Uh... Boy, man. Maybe we just rip the Gambit here, honestly. We just pray. We're revealing first, it's only hitting Okoye. It's a pretty bad target. No, that can't, that can't be the right play. <laughs> There's no way. It's also just too early to play Killmonger though. So I don't know. Just gonna fill a gap here a little bit. Shuri's lab. All right, that's kind of funny with Ironheart. 
This makes the gambit a little better. <laughs> That's kind of hard to beat at Quantum Realm, weirdly. All right, so this would be the uh, time to do this. Galactus right, though, is not really the move, is it? Maybe I should have played the uh, Killmonger uh, right to play Galactus left. It just depends on what they play this turn. It may not be reliable. Oh, uh, yeah. This does usually mean, though, that they're playing the storm left, which means Galactus right could be the move. Negasonic is also pretty insane, as is, well, I guess Gambit's not, since we have priority, but uh, if I hit Noel in particular, this would be so insane on Quantum Realm. Yes, dude, <laughs> it works. Let's go. The problem is how do you win without Noel? If I hit Noel, I mean, the game's over, we think, but otherwise might be hard. I mean, I can't just play three cards. The opponent probably has a hard time. <gasps> oh, I'm a dirty Galactus cheater, man. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I haven't played a Galactus deck in forever. This isn't really exactly a Galactus deck. I guess I feel okay about playing Galactus since his nerf, since he's really not as common anymore. Super flow. Now that's interesting. Rickety Bridge too. We should hopefully be able to dump something pretty easily over there. The next turn we'd have five. If I went Time Stone this turn. I guess there's no rush. I, I, I guess technically we prefer to Power Stone after Killmonger if we can. We are gonna have spare energy this game so we might be able to flex in a little bit more easily time stone this turn though seems totally fine probably just play a null early it does expose it a little bit to the opponent's removal so we could maybe play a thanos early instead sometimes that creates slightly better opportunity thanos mid negasonic i mean we are really first here so this is where the opponent's gonna want to play i'm not sure this is gonna hit a great target but has a chance to anyway. So now I see I'm like really encouraged to play somewhere other than hub thanks to Negasonic. So I guess we probably have to play a Thanos mid. It's okay. We're going to still have plenty of energy next turn, I think. We just need to get it down. And then we go Killmonger into Power Stone Yondu probably next turn. Then have a big null hopefully later. Oh. Forever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Gambit's gonna be just fine. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, I, I think a snap here is a little too on the nose, honestly. So we're gonna wait. I don't think we even need to killmonger this game now. I think we're just gonna be so far ahead that we'll be chill. Oh, the opponent did it for us. So let's snap back. Yeah, sure. Why not? They're probably not going to expect a Gambit here to remove because that's like safe from Shang-Chi. It's pretty hard to kill that and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they got some spice planned, though. Who knows? Maybe they got some spice planned. No, honestly, big enough anyway right now. 11 power. Yeah, sure. Armzola will kill the Gambit, but that's fine. We're heading two spots. Negasonic protects us right. This deck does not typically have a ton of uh, flexibility. Uh, anyway, I lose to like a Dr. Doom. That'd be like four, six, and four. No, just no way. Okay, cool. Victory. Yeah. Nice, dude. Negasonic, I feel like, has been sort of a subtle MVP. Like, kind of makes life really hard for the opponent. Ooh, Quantum Realm Soul Stone is so good. <laughs> they get buffed and everybody else gets debuffed. I love it. They have a big dark hawk or something though. They could still certainly contest. Yondu Electra. Okay. Noel might be a possibility too in a Yondu deck. Pet Mansion. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta play all my cards there. Oh no. Uh hey, this hand's really bad though. Legit really bad. Stark Tower, also clunky. This is a good pair, but Wolverine makes life a little hard. Um, Negasonic this early is not ideal because I also want to be able to play cards there, right? Oh, Bucky's good with Quantum Realm. Uh, shoot, man, I got nothing going here, dude. Nothing going. Spider-Man we can move over to, though. Maybe eat that Bucky or Carnage or something big, whatever it is. All right. 
Carnage, yeah. Carnage or Bucky are both great targets, so that's fine. Death also, of course, getting really cheap here, which is nice. Not quite cheap enough, honestly, but three next turn. Ooh, we could even kill Monger. That currently only removes one additional play. That would make death cost two. It does have value, honestly, because Shang-Chi death becomes a possibility. I think the question is, am I gonna have priority, right? Um, yeah. It's only gonna hit a soul stone, I know, because we're revealing first. We'll see. May not be worth it. Hit that carnage. Hit that carnage. Hit that carnage. Nice. That's a big one. Good. Gives us an advantage left into this final turn. It's important. We want them to half to play cards there. All ah, yeah. Go. Okay, nice. So Negasonic, we think, is... Well, I'm revealing first, bro. I, <laughs> I guess we're actually probably better off doing this, huh? Strong Chi to flip there. Negasonic protects right, and then these play for left, yeah. Oh. What is it, like a Doctor Doom or something? What is that? It's not Doctor Doom, bro. What is that? What is that? Oh! The Wolverine, bro. Oh, wait, he wasn't winning. Wait, why? You weren't winning, that was just a tie. Why would you do that? I don't understand. That scared me because of the Wolverine, but they weren't winning, dude. You gotta be winning with Galactus. Let's freaking go, dude. Easy game. <laughs> they over over trusted the Galactus there, man. That's crazy. Um, yeah, let's let's yawn, dude. Space Stone has a lot of value in this deck. If I if I didn't have another one, I would definitely play it just to cycle, and I may play it next turn too. Uh, but technically if we can save it for uh, 2099, we've got some potential upside there. Timestone Galactus is also interesting. Uh, yeah, we're, we're just gonna play this, it's fine. I think I want priority because of Negasonic Teenage Warhead usually, so let's split these stats across. We can always move as needed. Soul Stone, okay. This one we wanna play on four. Oh, I'm an idiot though. I Well, yeah, I definitely need to create a spot for Galactus. I, as I said, we need to move, so we will. Uh, unfortunately, we're feeling first or we could do some sneaky stuff with that kitty pride. I'm gonna hold this and this. Uh, again, I think this gets played on four and we maybe think about a Galactus in negative zone. The opponent is unlikely to play it in negative zone. So we usually win that four power to something. And they don't have any reason to think Galactus yet either, so hopefully we're okay. Gambit's good post Galactus. And just in general. Oh no, on turn five, cards cost one more. Oh, I need Reality Stone. Ah, oh, crap a doodle dandy. Shoot. Ah, uh, well, okay. In that case, we just do this maybe. They've been playing the Kitty Pride here. I don't see any reason they'd change. We could maybe eat their Kitty Pride early. Otherwise, priority might be a problem. Crap, a doodle dream dimension. Oh man. Well, okay. I guess Sonic, you get to do your thing now. Okay. Mm, Spider Man. Go spider here? That feels weird. That's only a three power play here. Could also rip a gambit after next turn. That's maybe okay. Maybe an Electra. I, I wish I could somehow lose priority, but I don't see how to do it. I don't know. Are they gonna play Kitty right, I guess? That leaves them only three energy, so a two cost play. They can't play a four cost this turn if they're gonna play Kitty to cycle. Otherwise you have to play something maybe overcommitted right, and you don't really wanna do that. They may feel like mid is just hard to play to, which I get it. Oh no, they rip mid anyway. Okay, throwing some away mid, I guess. Ah, forge, that's pretty good. That's exactly the kind of two power play we were talking about, right? Kitty going right. All right. So, I mean, they have so few freaking cards. <laughs> like there is a chance this works, right? 
I think left is the easiest spot for them to win, but Gambit can do... Oh no, Gambit's only ever hitting Zabu, isn't it? Uh, this is still better than like a Thanos. I don't know, man. They're, I don't know. Rescue dead, rights one. Okay. Gambit kills the Zabu. Are we big enough mid is the question. Did they play Kitty? Well, we'll just see. Los Diablos. Kitty left. Ironheart mid, we're chill. Let's go, dude. Easy, easy game. I guess they would have only had four power there anyway with the Zabu though, right? Okay. E uh, yeah, actually, no. Let's start in Mind Stone. Although Yanu can give us some uh, reconnaissance. Mind Stone gives us a lot of... Uh, a lot of options. More consistent curve that way. Murder World. Okay, we actually don't hate Murder World, I would say. I might throw some stuff into Murder World. Time Stone we want to play on four, probably get a six out early. I want stuff getting destroyed for my Null. Now, the opponent might also have a Null. Like, we've seen some Thanos Null going around in a different direction than this one, but uh, definitely still a possibility. Carnage, okay. Sure. Oh, now we can play this now because... Well, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 uh, yeah, actually, we're gonna pull Reality Stone over after transforming Big House. I might want to play Null there, so I'm just, uh, I'm dumping as much in here as I can for Null, pull this over, like, yes, this does limit my ability to Spider-Man 2099 later, but, uh, I wanna, I wanna play the Murder World. So does the opponent, okay, interesting, yes, they must also have some kind of Null, or death shenanigans afoot. Oh, Gamma Lab, dude, that's... No, I'm pulling a card out. No, <laughs> not like this, no. At least we're still two to two, though. That's pretty good. Oh, dude, the reality stone's gross, but we have Killmonger, so it's all good. Oh, never mind. Scratch that. We, uh... We do not have Killmonger, just kidding. Um... Okay. No, I don't think we want to Killmonger. Bro, what do we want to do? <sighs> we probably want to do something like this. I don't have Shang-Chi, but Gambit... Like, Gambit this turn is more likely to hit a Hulk, because there's, there's you know, it's, it's a 40% chance to hit a Hulk right now. It's going to get worse over time. Boy, I, I don't know. The opponent also, I think, is very likely to have a Killmonger, so that that's... Well, we'd still be favored. We'd still be favored mid, so they wouldn't want. Well, wait. On that note, maybe I can't kill Monger. I'm still favored. I have the Ghost Spider. They have two ones. Why can't I kill Monger? Let's think about that a little more. In that case, I think we play Noel this turn. The next turn we kill Monger, right? For some reason, I was thinking I didn't want to kill Monger, but Ghost Spider is protecting. Ah, oh, interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Now, sadly here, I don't have... They're revealing first, so the Killmonger doesn't necessarily... create a Hulk situation. Only Hulks. But there's gonna be likely only big targets for this Gambit, which makes Null much bigger as well. Yeah, this is certainly worth... I don't know if this is exactly right, but I think this is certainly worth trying. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Right is is now huge. This hits one of one of only good targets. That's fine. Null gets even bigger. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh my god. I thought that was the final turn. I am an idiot. <laughs> I, I thought that was the final turn. Can't even blame the baby on this one. I dropped off the baby earlier. Oh no. Oh crap. <laughs> I should not have played Electra. I thought that was our final turn. Um, okay. Well, hopefully Negasonic here protects me. All good. Easy games. Victory. Easy games.